Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leia and this is Budget with Leia. Today we're gonna to be doing my budget with me for my second second paycheck of April. So let's get right into that. Okay, so my starting balance is $1,668.41. That includes my paycheck, any rollover, cash back, etc. So it's just all included in this amount. Next up is my bills for fixed expenses. So this is half of my rent. So my rent is $5.91. Um, it, it kind of fluctuates a little bit, um, so it's now at five ninety one, and I share my expenses with four other people, so that's why my my rent and is so low. Okay, so just if you're wondering why it's so low, I share expenses with four other people. So this is half of my rent for May, which is two ninety six. So next paycheck, I'm gonna take another half to fully fund my rent for May. So that means my total fixed expenses for this pay period is $296. And if I subtract it from the starting balance, I'm left with $1,372.41. And now we're going to go into variable expenses or my cash envelopes. So groceries is going to get $100. I decided to up it. I'm um, buying my own groceries right now just because my boyfriend is still currently in a way with doing stuff with family. And I'm just making sure I buy groceries for myself. He usually was the one that would be would be responsible for like the both of us when it came to groceries. But he's currently away, so I'm dealing with that, which is fine. Um, gas, I'm actually going to put zero. Spending is going to be 60. Eating out, I budget at 30. And then that miscellaneous is going to be five. So, um... I'm pretty good on gas. I still have about half a tank, so we're good there. Spending is my usual. 30, I'm trying to cut down on eating out. I budgeted 40 last week, and I, I was, like, close to spending spending it all. And I was like, no matter what amount I put on here, I'm always spending it all or close to. So if I give myself 40, I'll spend 40. If I give myself 50, I'll spend all 50. If I give myself $100 in here, I would spend $100. So I'm trying to cap myself, which is the reason why I give myself like that 30 for two weeks. And then miscellaneous is just going to be $5. So that brings a total to $195. So let's do the math. So let's see, $1,372.41 minus $195 gives me, gives me $1,100. $77.41. Okay, so that's that. Now we're going to move into my sinking funds. So as you can see, I have one less one because I took out investments from here. Um, I'll be continuing that once I fully uh, fund my emergency fund. So as of right now, I'm not doing any investments besides the ones I already did. Um, I guess besides the ones that automatically come out of my paycheck, my for like my 401k. Um, but let's go on to my sinking funds. Mateo is going to get 25. Oops. Isaac is going to get 25. Car, car maintenance is going to get 40. Car insurance is going to get 140. Um, I pretty much budget around 140 to 200 every other paycheck for car insurance. Uh, because I pay my car insurance as every six months. So I'm trying to put money into here. So when that time comes, I have all the money ready to go. Christmas is going to get 40. And then pets, family, and occasions are all going to get 10. So I, we originally thought about going to the zoo, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to go to the zoo anymore. So I'm not really going to budget anything extra for like the family envelope. So I think we'll be okay there. If I really need to, I'll just take it out of my spending, but I don't think we'll need to. Okay, next up is savings is going to get 15, health is going to get 15, house is also going to get 15, and then uh, moving is going to get 10, purchases 10, tech I'm going to give it 10 as well, actuary 10, vacation 10, and a new car is not going to get anything. I'm still not really focusing on new car. I really want to focus on my emergency fund. Um, so that's why I'm not putting too much money into most of these categories. 
Next up is YouTube. So YouTube is just going to get its $5. Nails is going to get 5 Gaming is going to get 5 Disney is going to get 5 Black Friday is going to get 6 And then Halloween is going to get 5 So that should be all the amounts. And let me total this up real quick. So the total for this is $426. So if I subtract that from the 1177 I get $751.41. Okay, so now onto my savings, which is my emergency fund and my savings challenges. So my emergency fund is actually going to be getting $700. And then my savings challenges are going to get the extra fifty-one dollars, so the so that is equal to seven hundred and fifty-one, and my remaining is going to be forty-one cents. Now this amount it just stays in my account as a little buffer. Over time, it adds up, you know, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, and then I'll usually roll that over into my next paycheck when that time comes. So yeah, my paycheck is is pretty much as simple as that right now. Um, I don't, again, I don't have any more debt. I paid off my car. I don't have any credit card debt, any personal loans. I don't have student loans. I don't have any of that. So I'm trying to focus on emergency fund first, and then we'll go into funding some of these funds more as time continues. Okay, well, there we have it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. <laughs> Budget with me for the second paycheck of April. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye.